Hi everyone, it's Amanda Love Santos. Welcome back to another stay creating tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make this DIY gift set. It is a spa set theme, so it's everything to pamper somebody that you really care about. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to crochet a wash towel, um, some face scrubs. You can add whatever products to it to make it personal and to make it your own for that special somebody that you wanna surprise. So I added some hand poured candles by my friend's brand. It's called Botanic Soul. I also added her botanical bath salt that is made from all natural ingredients. Um, I added just some little flower elements here to kind of elevate the box. I know that if I received this, I think I would melt and my heart would explode because it's so personal. And since there's that handmade element, you really know that that person really poured love into this gift and that they handpicked everything just for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into the tutorial. So for the materials for this tutorial, you're gonna need a lightweight yarn. I'm using an organic cotton yarn. It's a DK weight. I'm also going to be using a 3.5 millimeter hook, a yarn needle, and some scissors. So we can first start with the wash towel. So for the wash towel, I'm going to start with the slip knot. So we're going to start by chaining our foundation. The foundation has to be an even number. So it has to be a multiple of two. So I'm going to chain 32. That's gonna give me the length that I want, but you can choose whatever length that you want. Once you have the foundation, the length that you want, then we're going to add one more chain. So for me, that makes 33 chains. Then from there, we're going to start on our first row. So for the first row, it's going to be a row of single crochets. So I'm going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then I'm going to single crochet into each foundation chain that's left. So for row number two, we're going to start with two chains. Those two chains are going to count as our first double crochet and we're going to skip this first stitch. Then we're going to double crochet into that second stitch. And we're going to double crochet into each stitch across. So that completes row number two. Row number two should have a total of 32 double crochets. Then on the next row, we're gonna do one chain, and then we're gonna single crochet in each stitch across. And we're gonna do our first single crochet into the very first stitch. So that chain does not count as a single crochet. So to start row four, we're going to chain two. And those first two chains are going to count as a double crochet. So we're going to skip this first stitch and we're actually going to work behind this post here. So we're going to do a double crochet behind this post. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to insert our hook behind the post, yarn over, then you should have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're gonna yarn over and pull through the last two. Then that stitch is going to, or that double crochet is gonna cover this stitch behind it. And we're gonna skip it. Then we're gonna double crochet into the next stitch. And that's gonna be a regular double crochet. And then we're gonna skip this post and we're gonna work a double crochet into this, behind this post. So we're gonna yarn over, 
work behind the post, yarn over, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two more. We're going to skip that stitch that's behind that double crochet, and we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to work a double crochet behind the next post. So not, not this one directly below the double crochet that you just did, but the next one. And so we're going to continue that pattern all the way across, alternating between double crochets in the next stitch and then double crochets behind the next post. So the very last double crochet is going to be around this last post here. Then the next row we're going to start with one chain and we're going to single crochet all the way across the row and we're going to single crochet in that very first stitch because this chain does not count as a single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet all the way across the row. So that completes row number five. To start row number six, we're going to chain two. And then we're going to, this time we're going to start this a little bit different. So we're going to double crochet, not in the first stitch, but the second stitch. So we're going to skip this first stitch because these two chains are going to count as a double crochet. We're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch we're going to work around the post. So that's going to kind of stagger these posts. Show you. So we're going to yarn over, work behind the post, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then pull through two loops. And then we're going to double crochet into this next stitch here. And then we're going to double crochet behind the post of the next double crochet. You want to make sure you're skipping this post here and you're working behind the next post. So we're going to double crochet behind that post. And that's the same pattern that we're going to continue all the way across this row. See, so the only difference is that we added another double crochet to begin with so that these posts were staggered. So that completes row number five. And we're just going to keep alternating between what we've done so far. So that is... The next row will be single crochets all the way across and then we're going to do the row of alternating between double crochets and then double crochets behind the post. Just make sure with each row that the stitch is staggered from the one before. So I'm going to continue making rows until I get that length that I want which I'm going for like a square and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once I get to that length. So I continued adding rows until I got the length that I wanted and I just kind of like wanted an even square so I just kept folding it in half diagonally until, until it was a square. So now that we've kind of completed the body of it I'm just going to add a loop here so that you can hang it in your shower. So in the corner I'm going to chain 12 chains and then I'm going to bring it back into that last single crochet and I'm going to do a slip stitch. And then from there I'm going to fasten off so I'm just 
how I normally do that, I chain two, I cut the yarn, and I just pull that loop through. Next, we're going to hide these loose ends. So we should only have two. So now we've completed the washcloth. It's got two sides to it. It's got more of an exfoliating side with the alpine stitch on the outside. And then it also has a softer side, the back side. So you can kind of have a dual sided washcloth. And then here in the corner, you'll be able to hang it and let it dry between washes. So now that we've completed the washcloth, we're gonna move on to the face scrub. So to start our face scrub, we're gonna start with a magic ring. If you've never done a magic ring before, you're just gonna take your two fingers and you're gonna wrap the yarn in the shape of an X. Then you're gonna take your hook, you're gonna place it under the first yarn and then you're going to grab the second one and bring it underneath the first one. Then from there you're going to chain one and that's going to lock your magic ring into place. And then you're going to chain two more. These first three chains are going to count as a double crochet and then we're going to double crochet 11 more times so that's going to be a total of 12 double crochets into our magic ring. Once you have 12 double crochets in that magic ring we're going to close the ring by pulling on this loose end here. You're just going to pull as tight as you can and then we're going to close this round by joining to the top of that chain three from the beginning with a slip stitch. And then for our second round, we're gonna start by slip stitching into the space between the next two double crochets. So this space right here, we're gonna slip stitch. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to make a cluster of double crochets into that same space. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that space, yarn over, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Then you're gonna yarn over and do that one more time. So we're gonna insert our hook into that space again, yarn over, you'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two more. Then you should have three loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. So that will count as our first three double crochet cluster. It starts off a little strange because of the two chains, but the next ones are going to be a lot simpler. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to crochet a cluster of three double crochets into the next space between the next set of double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that space, yarn over, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Then we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the same space, yarn over, you're gonna have four loops, yarn over, pull through two. And then one more time. And then you're gonna have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through the last four. So that creates a three double crochet cluster. And then you're going to chain one and you're going to make another three double crochet cluster into the next space between those next two double crochets. So we're just going to continue all the way around, alternating between chain chaining one and then making three double crochet clusters into the spaces between the double crochets. So once you've made it all the way around, you should have a total of 12 three double crochet clusters and then 12 chains that go in between them.
And then to close off the round, we're going to join it with a slip stitch to the top of, of that first double crochet cluster. Then from there, we're gonna start round three. We're gonna start with a slip stitch into this space between the clusters. And then we're going to chain two. We're gonna make a cluster into this space. So the same thing as before, you yarn over, insert your hook into the space between the clusters, yarn over. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to do that one more time. And then we're going to close off the cluster and yarn over, pull through all three loops. So that's going to count as our first cluster. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to double crochet into the next stitch, the top of that last cluster from the last row. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to work a three double crochet cluster into the space between those next two clusters. Right, and then you're going to chain one and we're going to work a double crochet into the top of that next cluster into the next stitch. And then we're going to chain one and work a cluster into the space between the next two clusters of the last row. And we're going to chain one and then we're going to work a three double crochet cluster into the space between the next two clusters of the last row. Then we're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna double crochet into the next stitch, which is the top of that next cluster. Chain one. We're just gonna continue that pattern all the way around. So you chain one, we're going to do a cluster into the space, chain one, and then double crochet in the top of the next cluster. So I'll show you guys what to do once you complete that round. We're going to double crochet in that very last stitch, and then we're going to join the round by slip stitching to the top of that first cluster. And then that completes the third round. So from here, I have an example here, we're gonna do some chains and we're gonna connect it to the other side. So we're gonna chain 12, and then you're gonna bring it across the back of the circle. And you're just gonna find a stitch here in the back that's directly across from where you started and we're going to slip stitch into that stitch and then we're going to fasten off so I'm just going to chain two cut the yarn and then I pull it through and push down those two chains so that completes the face scrub now I'm just going to hide these loose ends So that completes our face scrub. The little um, handle on the back is so that you can kind of put your fingers and then easily like, scrub your face. I made two so you can make however many you want. The wash towel is also complete so we're going to start to assemble our gift box. So since we're going with the spa theme, you can add whatever products that you like or that you think that the person that you're going to give this gift to will like. Um, some ideas are like candles, bath salts, bath bombs, soaps, 
I have a friend that just launched her brand. It's called Botanical Soul. She makes these really amazing hand poured candles and then they have like the most incredible scents. There's like crystals and wooden wicks inside the candle. She also makes like bath salts and bath teas um, that are made from like all natural ingredients. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of fill this box with enough paper since there is glass and like clay. I just wanna make sure nothing breaks. Then I'm gonna put like my big pieces in there first. So this um, bath salt, I'm gonna put it up here, and then the candle. And then I'm gonna take the, the wash towel and I'm gonna roll it up. If you have some twine or you can just use like yarn or ribbon, then you can just kind of dress it up by tying a little, a little bow. Just like that. And then I have these two um, face scrubs. I'm also gonna include a little bath scooper for when they're done taking a bath and there's like flowers kind of floating all around the bath. You can just kind of like scoop it and strain it out with this. It adds to the look. And then another idea is to include some dried flowers to kind of dress the box up a little bit and give it that natural element. Some samples of like bath teas from Botanical Soul. I'm going to just kind of slip here in the corner. So that completes the gift box. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you find it helpful. And also I would love to know like what would make your dream box? What would you add to this? Would you go with a different theme? Let me know in the comments. Everything linked in the description um, so that you can find everything here. I'll have a pattern for the wash towel and the face scrubs. I'll have links to all the candles, the bath salts, if you guys are interested in supporting a small business. So I hope you guys enjoy creating your gift boxes. Stay creating and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.